Hmm. It's disappointing. It's a brick. Good evening, chaps and chapettes. Rogger here. Welcome back to Ghostbusters. Last time, we finally managed to sort out of the freaking museum and defeat fat bastard's big dead grandfather. <sighs> and the frame rate's still shitting itself. You got anything funny to say this time? Hello, Ghostbusters. Mm, mm hmm. Oh, you don't know the half of it. They have been racing in and out of here since that shockwave hit. Not what I know. I'm just here trying to keep the lights on. Sure, I could ask what's going on, but then they might actually tell me what. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty big. That schnook from the city isn't helping ease the tension either. Anyway, going away for Thanksgiving might be on hold until things settle down. Yeah, I know. But we have to roll the Ghostbusters way. Don't ask. All right. Goodbye. Ugh, might have been a squeeze by the sounds of it. Of that or a family member. Hello, guys. You look depressed. What does this symbol mean? We're dead. Uh, guys. <laughs> Really? Really? It's not a constellation. It's a mandala. I can't believe I never saw it before. Okay, for one minute, pretend someone here doesn't know what a mandala is. Mandala is like a spiritual labyrinth. And this one looks like a spiraling system that feeds into each successive node along the line until it reaches a culmination point. Before he died, Shandor must have set some mechanism in place similar to the antenna in Dana's building. You know, I think you helped to make that clearer. So this was the gizmo that's supposed to feed energy to the destructor form? That's... that's right, Peter! Well, Give him a cookie. Dr. Bankman. Well, I had to get one right eventually, didn't I? I mean, just math. All right, I'm just speculating, but it's possible that ghosts are trapped in the system, funneled from node to node, and they get stronger and stronger until they reach the end, and then they... Look, the first portal, the library, the second, the museum, and the third, the Sedgwick. And that means the fourth portal must be right here. The middle of the Hudson River? <laughs> well, according to the Mandala, yes. It may need a little tweaking. I don't know, plenty of bodies in that river. Could become ghosts. But what does this have to do with me? What did I do? You were at so the museum Weaver wanted too much money to do this. Maybe you were some sort of catalyst, accidentally setting things in motion. You're saying this is my fault? You are blameless! What Egon meant to say was that you have some sort of connection to this thing and we're going to go back to the Sedgwick and find out what. Isn't that right, Brainiac? <laughs> That's right, <laughs> Alyssa, do you remember where you were going when you were at the Sedgwick? I was standing outside a room, 1221. Something was compelling me to go in, but I woke up just before the door opened. I ran out of there as fast as I could. And then some jerk tried to pick me up on the elevator. Okay, you need to stay here where it's safe and where you can't set off any more cross-dimensional shockwaves, hot stuff. Here, read up on the Mandela and the boys will check out the Sedgwick. The boys? And what about you, Superstar? I'm gonna have you drop me off near Peck's office. Something tells me he's not quite what he seems. Good idea. Maybe besides being a Titanic pillock? I honestly don't get these. So I mean, it's obviously it's incredibly cool to go to the... Oh, okay. So artifacts and stuff turn up when you do missions. All right. Well, this frame rate is so shoddy around here. I've just got to get out of here before things fall apart. No, it's not quite the thing. Whoa. If this place were any more dead, we need a coroner. Egon used to be a licensed coroner. No kidding. It's just a hobby now. Close until further notice by the Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. Peacock. Entrance into this establishment is strictly forbidden and is punishable by fine and imprisonment. I think you need to tear that up. What now? Hmm. This notice is for the general public. <laughs> it doesn't apply to us. We're bonded contractors for the city. Damn Especially straight. the Ghostbusters. 
Yep, yeah, there we go, Egon. That's the right response. All right, heat him up. We'll melt our way in. Wait, I have a better idea. Really? They'd actually done that. Literally at any point, that place would have been full of squatters. And not just because it's New York. Hmm. This is disappointing. It's a brick. No. Disappointing is the Jets losing in the last two minutes. Not being covered in slime by phantom ghouls out to kill us doesn't exactly make me reach for a hanky. Why they shut down? You guys didn't bang the place up that bad last time you were here. If this place is a Mandala note, a few burnt walls and broken ceilings are the last thing that anybody's... And smashed furniture, broken chandeliers, <laughs> destroyed paintings, shattered vases, probably some minor structural damage. Thanks, Egon. My point being that there's more to worry about here than some minor cosmetic issues. Definitely a Mandala node. If Pex we don't possessed. shut down Shandor's Mandala soon, most of Manhattan will become as vacant as this. Not to mention also becoming a bastion of absolute mind-numbing horror for centuries to come. Hey. I definitely don't lay out two grand a month for a 600 square foot walk up to live in a bastion. Let's get to work. Wait for something big and nasty to bump it's into. It's an ambush. Get them hot. Wait a minute. Wait. I don't think they're a threat. Yeah. They may only be residual hauntings. I think Ray is right. They haven't crossed entirely into this dimension. They're just now that's, psychokinetic that's proper echoes. ghosts. Ghosts of ghosts. Completely harmless. Great. I was hoping to meet a friendly ghost someday, but I'll settle for harmless right now. I'm getting a strong. Casper is a big letdown, mate. Alyssa said she was called to the twelfth floor. Let's start there. I'm gonna bet that that's not working. Nothing. They'd have shut down the power when they closed. Can we take the stairs? Well, we can try climbing, but the last time we were here, a level three animator took out the bottom of the staircase. Oh yeah, fishy man. Yeah, that's right. I forgot you weren't here last time, Winston. So no stairs, no elevators. Did you hear something? Over there. Come on. Was that open now? I think we're dealing with a level five anchored ambusher. Be careful. Now that's a name. It went into the stairwell. We've got it cornered. This is just how a level five anchored ambusher lures you in. The manager? What are you doing here? Ghosts. Monsters. Everywhere. There was another voice. A woman screamed. <laughs> are you alone in here? Look, I just said ghosts and monsters everywhere. Does that sound like I'm alone? meant people then yes i think so <laughs> well i guess that explains it <laughs> sir there's no need to fear these are just shadows echoes of actual ghosts they can't hurt you come with us sir we can lead you to safety he is going to do something besides teleport ooh blimey Someone you know? I don't know. Most of the old staff knows the story of the Spider Witch, a professional widow who did unimaginable things in a room on the 12th floor back in the 1920s. What, sex and stabbing? Sounds like a Saturday night in Cheswick. Why didn't you evacuate with everyone else? I came back last night to retrieve some payroll records, but the hotel won't let me out. The door's shut on me, and the phones are down too. That means we're trapped now too. And we have to hope that Peter figures out we're missing. There goes a weekend. Not necessarily. The twelfth floor is apparently the core of this node. If we can get the power back on, we can take the elevators. If the elevators don't eat us. Yes, if the elevators don't eat us. On your rare sunshine wind channel. Breakers for this place. We don't have a lot of time. Uh, breakers, in my office. But the city came and turned off most of our power after the electrical fire on the third floor. There's no way to turn it back on from here. That's inconvenient. We've got to find some way to get the elevators moving. There's a backup generator in the utility room, off the kitchen. It's for emergency blackouts. Perfect. Let's give it a try. To the kitchen. Well, he's changed his tune from our last visit. He's actively not being a pillock. Sort of. Watch out! What the hell?
Oh, you guys managed to actually to kill him. Webbed fiend, though. We're having a spider oh, theme level, we be. Hey, watch! You rang his bell, cadet. Now I shot him in the face. Big difference. Don't have to watch out for you. I guess some of them apparently fulminate to this plane that doesn't seem like they're happy about it. Right. Now, let's find that backup generator. The kitchen. Oh, come on. I know this face isn't much, yes, but come on. Guys, he's dead. I wish it was me, but it wasn't. Honest. Hello? Anyone there? All right, guys, spread out. The utility room should be around here somewhere. In some dark, scary corner. I know I've said this before, but be careful. I don't think we're alone. Alarming banging guys for help drift from the microwave. That's not a good. This place is wrecked. Did you and Beekman do all this when you were chasing Slimer? No, this is a lot worse than they left it. This is the work of something big. When you say big, do you mean big, big? Mm-hmm. At the very least, maybe even bigger. That sounds like big. The manager said there was a generator room around here somewhere. Look for a door. Generator room, that sounds good. The squeaking doesn't. Hello. Nah. Of course not. Look, Cadet found the emergency generator. Look around for a switch or something to start it up. What's it look like? Probably like a switch or something that would start up a generator. All right, Egon, but you should know I'm keeping score. What did I say? There's a lot of water on the floor. Watch out for static discharge when you activate the generator. You mean to say he could be electrocuted after the power's ah, back sweet on? sweet music. Uh -oh. I'd recommend not stepping in that water. That sounds like an excellent recommendation. Looks like that power cable is causing all the trouble. Get it out of the water, then. I know this much. We're trapped down here like rats until that cable's out of the water. How about some slime tethering? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, ah, no. That will make more sense. That sounds good. All right, okay. Go, 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 go. Come on, kid. The elevators should be working, unless something... Never mind, let's get back to the lobby. Please stop jinxing shit, Egon, please. Listen, what's that smell? Fire! Over there, come on! Look out, it's the late shift! Yeah, but this is just the help. Where's the boss? I can't believe I just said that out loud. I know that guy. It's the mass poisoner. Chef the forest. So, nobody eat anything in here, even if you're really hungry. I'm about to swallow my own tongue, Ray. Will that be okay? Way to go, Greenhorn. That hurt. Right, come here. Stay on him. Stay after him. Aim high. There it is. We'll pass you. Hello, uh, Pan Tornado. Man yes. down, man down. We'll do something about it then. Get out of here. Oh god, it's these bastards. Here they come. Give them the Sorry, the possessors are still far, far more irritating. Oh. We gotta try everything, but not this. Ow! Ah! Exceptional. Right. This kitchen is clean. There we go. Let's get back to the elevator. So, like I said multiple times before. Definitely number one problem with this game is just how much health the enemies have. They're not often particularly tricky. They've just got a hell of a lot of whapping you need to do to them. I'm betting this guy's dead and or possessed. Not possessed. Have you had anyone die yet, I believe? Oh, there you God, are. You're here. Everything checks out here. It's about time. Grateful prick. Okay, it looks like the psychomass has come to rest about 190 feet above our heads. The 13th floor. This hotel has no 13th floor. None of the grand old hotels do. Man's got a strong argument. We'll split the difference. Egon, you and the Tenderfoot go to the 12th floor. Winston and I will check out the 14th. Uh, sir, if you'll please come with us. 
fine, but stay in contact. This place is extraordinarily dangerous. Oh, let's follow the literal Black Widow with a knife. Well, let's see what's on the 12th floor. Let's. Sometime this century, please, fellows. Thank you. Gigan, what were you saying earlier about the man Dalin? You mean, why do we keep seeing new ghosts? Yeah. Okay. Think of the Mandala as a city bus line. At the bus station, ghosts or waiting passengers are drawn into the system here and trapped. This concentrates their PK energy, which is then eventually forced through to the next node, or station, and so on until it all ends at a final terminus. At each successive bus station, the station manager absorbs some of the energy. This makes the station manager, or node guardian, stronger so that it can keep the ghosts in line and destroy anyone who comes to the station to interfere with the flow. These nodes, or bus stations, gather the power used to feed a central point, thus creating a much bigger threat to our world. Does that make more sense now? No. TTTC, Totally Trapped Transit Company. Yeah, you were going strong right up until the passengers got trapped inside the bus station. When is my performance review again? <laughs> I deserve more stock options. No. I say, young lady, you are full of surprises. After you, my dear. Well, that was terrifying. Be extremely careful. This is likely to be a point of dangerous concentration. Well, it's like I said, it's unfortunately ghosts aren't real Odd. because otherwise... It's coming from everywhere and nowhere. World War II! Impossible to get a significant... And you know exactly where I'm going with Ray, that. Come in. Are you there? It would be very, very God. obvious. What happened? We lost you for a minute there. We had a close contact. I've got some more information on the Spider Witch ghost. Manager says authorities never found her, but... The bodies were hung from the ceiling. They were drained of blood and dragged around. He says the victims were found in a pretty bad state. The walls were painted in blood. Furniture was half chewed and crushed and piled in a corner like a giant nest. She seems to have vandalized the room badly, too. Hmm. I don't want to be hung from a ceiling and drained of blood. I'll tell you this much. I do not want to be found in a bad state or vandalized. I think that sentiment is unanimous. Oh, and set on collecting a hidden toilet. Yep, that's the sound of someone drowning in the toilet, all right. Other that, will get rid of a vindaloo. They're often interchangeable, often happening at the same time. Hello. <laughs> there she goes. Ray, come in. Yeah, what's up? What was the spider witch's room number? 1221. After her spree, it was locked up. Oh, it's... oh we're literally having spiders, aren't we? Oh, these little rodents of an unusual size. We're not alone in here. Ooh. Ooh. We don't have that one in the database. It's a freaking giant spider. Kill it. This floor is undergoing significant metamorphosis. Ghost World is aggressively encroaching on ours. It's not even utilizing a portal. This is very bad. Let's call me the exterminator. My ankles. Goodness, we hardly know each other. What? Who? What are you? No! Help! No. Please. No! As things have gone on, it's gotten more and more horror-y. It's the ghost world crossing through, happening sooner than we expected. You just said that. It looks like this is where the node is focused. We could use some help. Ray, are you there? Come in, Ray. Looks like it's up to us. Let's find 1221 and finish this. I just got a haunted beard. What the fuck? Good God. Get out of the way, infected testicles. Thank you. I just found a haunted beard. What did you find, Egon? Hey, watch! Let's keep moving. When in doubt, grenades. Creepy. Dodge, oh, Jesus! Oh. 
Which way? 1220. 1222. No 1221. Where is it? 1221 has to be here. Good thinking. It was here all along. Well, that's basic gameplay mechanics. Give a quick tutorial on a well, new thing, and then show how to do new thing, then add it into the game. Gross! I'll play Conkers with you later. I don't like the look of this, but we've run out of options. Come to me, little man. Horrible death? I'm betting Egon gets kidnapped. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna be like a, some sort of spider woman hybridy thing. Like that thing out of Dark Souls, whatever her name was. Arachne or whatever. Like a centaur with a spider. <laughs> yeah, basic scenario. Back to back. One of you keeps an eye above, one of you keeps an eye below. Turn and check the perimeter. It's not rocket science. We aren't alone. No shit. We are literally in a certain form of hell. Well, let's face it, we've all dated someone like that, haven't we? Admittedly, the whole being a spider thing, probably not. I don't even have to do anything with that one, do I? Oh yeah, I was right. Spider Centaur? Drider, that's it. That's what I was thinking of. Was I? Ah, there she is. Go, cool. Bennett. Believe it or not, I'm trying to kill you. That's great. Actually, no, this would be the perfect opportunity opportunity to do some homing blats. It's growing stronger. Don't let it power up. Oh god. A boss which heals itself is a dick. Blast it. Spewing gross. Oh hello. Nope, no of course not. Oh, no, okay, we're doing... Oh, actually. To the right! That was close. Oh. Gotta admit, the... That boss from Dark Souls yeah. 1, the spider lady boss, whatever that one was, that design was a lot creepier. This one is weird, but it's not too bad. Has she gone? No, no, she has not. Hmm. I've all the boss fights so far. This has actually been kind of easy. Nearly jinxed myself there. Look, stop jizzing on me, woman, please. Me. Yep, I hurt you because you be spider. Where are you, you bitch? Oh, yeah. Multiple contacts! Focus on her. As soon as she dies, I'm betting they'll bugger off. Oh, I didn't even notice the split mouth. And do the weird le little leg. 
that's creepy. And that's just because of the exoskeleton, but hey. Are we in the, oh, we're in the ballroom. Wasn't there a bar mitzvah going on in here? Hmm. A giant glowing thingy on the wall. There we go. Look, the mandala map. Ray, Winston, come in. You there? Egon, what happened? You all right? The recruit found the 13th floor and we shut it down. PKE levels are back to acceptable parameters. This node of the mandala is fully neutronized. All right. Where are you? We went back down to the 12th floor and couldn't find anything. Everything seems pretty normal. Looks like we're back in the Ruby Ballroom. Oh, Ruby we'll Ballroom. We'll meet you at Ecto-1. Oh, well. Victory. Egon, remind me. Why are we driving aimlessly in the fog? The final node, Beckman. Oh, the one in the, the river. The mandala, trapping the ghosts inside. Sorry to break this to you, Egon, but I just don't see a mandala. I was going to go with sunken ship. You were saying? Rather than Shandor Island. It's here. I think more than one person in the maybe a. Uh, However many millions of people there are in New York might notice this. It's too unstable. I'm gonna have to drop you guys in circle. If Ecto-8 sinks, we're sunk too. It's an old Ray, tug. Since you're the most excited about going to Ghost Island, why don't I just take the boat? I, I, I thought I was making a nice gesture. You're giving me the suspicious look. <laughs> drop it instantly. Let's get going. Cause Nobody enjoys rushing headlong towards their death more than this. <laughs> oh god. I just love the writing. I just love the writing, because it's actually funny. What's the story behind this place, he got? The Shandors owned this island for generations. The castle was built in the 1860s. Evo Shandor used it as a refuge, a lab, and a temple for he and other cult members to worship Gozer. Ooh. Okay, that's all well and good. But can someone explain to me how an entire island sinks? The night the last Shandor died, there was a huge tidal surge, and the river just swallowed the island whole. Shandor consecrated the island to Gozer, and the ghost world reclaimed it. <laughs> City's lucky it's in the middle of the river instead of Rockefeller Center. We're lucky now, but soon the ghost world will continue to assert itself into ours, and the damage will be incalculable. Hmm. Just another screwed up day at the office. Yeah. It appears that we need to take that Well, sorry guys, I'm going to have to interrupt you there because we're going to have to finish this particular episode here. So, thank you all very much indeed for watching this little video of mine. If you enjoyed it, have a little look-see down below to see if there's anything else I've done which takes your fancy. If so, have a little look-see. Bar means, bar means, my friend. Subscribe if you want to. But, as always, people, please be wonderful to each other. Good night.